Welcome back, hungry friends, to the sixth episode of our Bob's Burgers cooking book cooking series. Today we're going to be cooking the Do the Brussels Burger. This burger of the day is from season two, Sorry, episode Dad. three, back when the show was grittier. I'm not so sure how I feel about this one. It looks a little bit obscure, and I'm not sure I'm going to like it, but I believe in Bob Belcher, and so we're going to go for it. Let's just hop right in. Let's send it. We're going to need some bacon, Brussels sprouts, and pistachios. It looks really weird, I know, and I'm a little bit curious how this is all going to turn out. I will be honest, I'll let you know if this is garbage or not. We're also going to need some uh, Boston, Roman, some, some good lettuce, and some sour cream. I'm excited. Let's get into it. We're going to kick things off by slicing some Brussels sprouts into thin ribbons. They may take it personally, but it's time they stop being so selfish in my opinion. So now we're just going to cut up slash crush up some pistachios, just get like a handful. Pistachios are the world's most superior nut and they are very versatile. Most people would say if you were to get stranded on a deserted island, that matches would be something that you would want to have on you. But I think I would go with pistachios because I'm a crazy bastard and because I love pistachios. Next step is I'm going to want to prep my actual patty before we get started on cooking anything. I'm gonna form a patty, I'm gonna roll it around seasonings, and then we'll move on to cooking some stuff, so. Per usual, we form our meatball and heavily season it and the cutting board with salt and pepper. This allows us to roll the ground meat around and to really cover the surface. Just look at that meatball roll. Got our ground beef prepped, so now we're gonna start cooking our bacon, followed by the Brussels sprouts and the uh, pistachios. The grease produced by cooking the bacon is going to be crucial to taking this burger to the next level. After the bacon is done cooking, we transfer the Brussels sprouts into the fat. Mix it around, coat every surface. Once they start to turn golden brown, we can add the pistachios. The aroma in the room should be insane at this point. After about a minute, it's time to get that mixture out of your way so you can cook the patty and all the delicious flavors you have been creating in your pan. This is the best part. I love flipping burgers and hearing that sizzle. It's like music to my ears. Once you've got a nice sear and the patty is cooked, transfer it to a plate and toast up your buns of choice. All right, the burger's done, let's build it, and then we'll see how it tastes. So we're gonna start with the bottom bun, and then our lettuce, and then our juicy burger, then our sour cream, and then our Brussels sprout pistachio mixture. And then top it off with a couple pieces of bacon, our top bun. Got a plate because you know these burgers always get messy and let's uh, go for it. What do you guys think about that? Unique tasting burger for sure. I will say it's actually really good. The weird flavor of the Brussels sprouts mixed with the pistachios gives it a nice nutty, salty crunch. But the sour cream like balances it out and bacon fat cooked into everything just tastes so good. And if I had to give it a rating overall, I would say I would give this one an eight out of 10. This one is unique, definitely worth making. So I'm excited to eat this whole thing. And I'll see you guys next week for burger number seven. Take care of yourselves.